Scott and Mike, we're all in there, and uh, and uh, the weather's beautiful out here too, Frank. So I'm sure glad I'm making it with uh, just a little handheld here. Good morning, allies. So I got this cool piece of kit that came in the mail yesterday. RTL SDR. RTL SDR. Um, RTL, I don't know what the hell that stands for, but the SDR is software defined radio. And uh, it's a pretty interesting little thing. So it's a dongle that connects to your computer and it takes in RF and converts it into some kind of serial source, USB source. And then your computer, you know, can, can take that and it'll actually look at the full frequency spectrum and you can look at all the activity. So you can see a waterfall of an entire frequency and then you can just click on the little parts you want to receive. Uh, this is one of the last things I needed for my next Ham Radio MCOM video. So uh, good info there to come. Very excited about that. Listening to any frequency, basically. Um, on a radio or on a dongle attached to your computer. Super cool, great time to be alive. Tell Dr. Spaz to take a chill pill. Dr. Spaz is totally freaked out. Giddy up, allies. So I realized uh, I flashed that um, software defined radio in front of the camera and I didn't explain at all what software defined radio is. And I'm assuming that like if I don't explain it, um, you'll be left to your own wits to answer that question, which some of you already know what it is, and for you, awesome. For those that don't though, I think I would be remiss to have this opportunity to explain. So, one second. Okay, so this is a radio. This is an F a Yesu FT60. It also happens to be my first uh, handheld radio and still one of my favorite radios. Uh, in this radio are, is an RF component. Obviously, you have an antenna that receives RF. And then that signal is processed. Um, all kinds of things are done to it. It's, it's uh, demodulated. There's um, things, things, phase, I'm sorry, frequency modulation that happens because this operates on FM frequency modulation, right? Frequency modulation is the same thing that FM radio stations use in your car. Uh, AM, what's AM? Amplitude modulization. Okay, you get it. It's a radio. There's electrical circuits in here that take in RF, do funky stuff to it, modulate it, and then spit it out of the speaker as, as human understandable sound, voices. Uh, there's also tones and stuff like that, and that's getting a little bit more in the weeds, but um, all of that is handled by the electronics in this radio. The computer, if you will, is the internals circuitry of this thing. And those internal circuitries are good at doing one thing, modulating for a particular frequency modulation, FM. Um, transmitting, um, demodulating is when you receive, modulating is when you're, you're transmitting, right? So this transmits and it receives. It, it, it's, a, it's a powerful device. It's an interesting, useful device. Well, how does that relate? What does that mean for software then? Well, software-defined radio. Okay, so with a software-defined radio, you have an RF component and a little antenna, right? And it connects into this little SMA adapter, and this connects to your computer via USB. So what's in here is a, an RF front end that receives radio frequencies, and then there's some kind of converter, and it's usually a, uh, a sound card, so it'll convert, it'll take sounds and bring the sounds into the computer, or there's a, uh, like a serial modulator, or it's not a serial modulator, gotta be careful, a uh, serial device that goes RF to serial in through USB, serial, universal serial bus. Um, and then the computer, the heavy lifting, the modulation and the amplification and all that stuff is done by the computer. So you actually need a pretty decently powerful computer if you're going to be feeding, streaming the data. And that's what this is. What, what is radio, but if not streaming data? So um, basically, you connect this to your antenna, it receives data, your computer gets the serial or whatever data format it comes in, and then the computer software will perform the heavy lifting of what this radio does with the internal circuitry. Um, <clears throat> understand too, these are all separate components, physical components that does the work of the radio. The computer replaces those components with a software title, and it lets the CPU, the central processor unit of the computer, do the heavy lifting as one central processor instead of little disparate processing, processing, it's not processing, but circuitry, right? That's software-defined radio in a nutshell. 
What does this allow you to do that this doesn't? Well, this is closed off, right? It only operates on VHF, UHF, and it only modulates in, the, in, in frequency modulation. This, however, is like a fire hose of data. When this thing is shooting its data into the computer, how you manipulate that data is completely up to you. You can manipulate that data into complete garbage, but it's still in complete all of your control, and you're using the power of the computer to do that. So let me show you what that looks like. Laptop. Metal pan. You're like, what is this for? This is going to act as the ground plane. This is a magnetic base. See that? That's your ground plane. Magnetic. Okay. Uh, we're going to start off with just the, the little antenna because we're just going to do an, R, an FM uh, radio station to start to get it tuned up. Antenna. SDR. Okay, now we hand it off to computer. Computer, do your work. So through the magic of my editing, I went ahead and um, downloaded what I needed to do and did the install. For the Mac, it's incredibly easy. It's easier than uh, almost anything radio related I've ever had to work upon. This thing's $20, guys. If you have a Mac, uh, there is no reason why you should, buy, should not buy this. It comes with the mount, it comes with two antennas. Look at this big honking bad boy. Um, you just install the application and run it, plug this thing in before you run it, and then you're off to the races. And it just works, check this out. If any of you can tell me what this background is, I'll send you a pop socket. That's right, a pop socket. So just run uh, the software application, just type in whatever, 105.5 FM, hit play. This is the waterfall for the frequency, you can jump around. So what, hold on. So what doesn't this do? Well, it doesn't do AM that well. AM, you actually need um, a little bit more hardware, which is available. It's another little dongle thing that you can get. But this can do HF, guys. Yeah, check this out. Let's hop on HF. So I'm always learning interesting things when it comes to, um, when it comes to this kind of stuff. Turns out that the actual hardware in here that does VH, VHF and UHF is slightly different than what does HF. When you do HF, you actually have to have a proper ground. Of course you do, right? I know radios. Of course you need a proper ground. So my little Pi tin with, a, with an antenna on it works great for VHF, UHF, but you need something way more substantial for HF. I have a dipole in the backyard, which is perfect for oh. HF, uh, but I'm not going to run the cabling ah. to it so, today. Ah. Ah. Yeah? Ah. Yeah? What? Okay, um, so we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to call this a part one. Part two will be soon because I need to get this working for the next MCOM video. Um, I'll post the link in the description to the Amazon kit. I think it's a really good kit for 20 bucks. It's a nice little metal case. You get two antennas, a little itty bitty one, and a big honker. Um, yeah, man. Big fan. Uh, we'll have way more details, though, on that in the future. Guys, question of the day. What do you think about this whole SDR thing? You like the concept of having a little dongle like this um, on your computer and being able to listen to shortwave, um, FM, whatever, on your computer and see the whole frequency band like I was showing you on the waterfall? I love that because then you can little like bounce around and see what's active. Very cool. Guys, that'll do it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.